Guys, yesterday I was playing around in ChatGPT and I randomly found this hidden feature that hacks Notion and lets me use ChatGPT inside of Notion without paying for Notion AI. In ChatGPT, there's this icon here with a little arrow and if you click on it, you'll be able to see work with beta and the option to add Notion to this chat context window. And this is absolutely crazy. And after looking at their documentation, this feature came out like two months ago. They silently launched it and told nobody. So I'm gonna show you how it works and explain the pros and cons because it does have a few limitations, but also some really, really cool use cases. But first, before you freak out on me and dislike this video and leave hate comments because you don't see this thing in your chat GPT, let me show you how to access it. So first of all, you are going to need a ChatGPT subscription. I think it's $20 a month right now. Super, super worth it, especially if you use Notion because of what I'm about to show you. Requirement number two, you do need to be using Mac OS, so an Apple product of some sort with at least version 1.2 or later. And requirement number three, you do need to download and install the desktop version of ChatGPT, otherwise you won't see it. And last but not least, make sure that you have the beta features turned on for your account. So go ahead and go to your settings, which you can find in the sidebar of your ChatGPT, scroll down until you find work with apps in beta and make sure that the toggle here is turned on all the apps you have that are activated or not and just go ahead and click the plus sign next to notion and voila we'll see that working with notion is now turned on and if you hover your cursor over the working with notion you'll also see what page is currently open in notion that it's referencing right now in notion i'm also working on another youtube video about how school isn't for smart people and so if you're one of those people be on the lookout it's gonna be a good video so now that it's all set up what is ChatGPT actually doing in your document and so you can think of it like ChatGPT is referencing referencing your Notion document for context just for this specific chat. And so this way I can use Notion with ChatGPT without having to do like that copy paste back and forth workflow that's very tedious and cumbersome. And so for example, what I'm gonna do is just pull this side by side so we can see um, what it actually knows from this document. I'm just gonna ask it because I have some titles here. What are the titles I am considering for this video? And it should pull for me these ideas here. School made me dumb. And as you can see, perfect score, A+. And I'm gonna show you that later on in this video. And so now that we know how this workflow works, you might be wondering why on earth would I still get Notion AI versus ChatGPT? So first and probably the most important distinction is that with Notion AI, Notion AI can actually scan through your entire knowledge base within Notion to find anything that you want to. Notion AI can also access your Slack channel or your Google Drive if you connect it up properly, and it can pull all of those insights directly within the app. And you only need one app. Right inside of Notion, I can literally just go to any empty block here, click spacebar, and Notion AI can just start drafting something immediately here in my document. It can find something and it has a whole bunch of custom prompts. I think this is a really great feature to have if you are kind of a beginner to AI and just want some like templates that are set up beforehand. But there is one very important feature that Notion AI doesn't have, which ChatGPT definitely does and crushes it with that makes this completely worth my while. And that is, unlike ChatGPT, Notion AI cannot access the web. This is a pretty big deal for me as a creator, especially as an educator. Back to ChatGPT and go to our browser here, we can see that it does have the ability to search the web. And if you're balling out with the $200 option right now, you can even have ChatGPT do deep research for you, where it'll go out on its own for a few minutes and scan through thousands or whoever knows how many different things on the internet and compile very deep insights for you and also link out the sources of where it got those insights from. And so using Notion AI with ChatGPT like this, you get the best of both worlds. I can do deep research with ChatGPT, also referencing anything that I've already put inside of Notion. So... And so, right, and so you can see it first looked at Notion, so it got context of everything that I wanted to do, and then it also is going to ask me for some clarification before it goes out and does some deep research. And because I am using a newer version of ChatGPT, I'm actually going to go ahead and also bring into this the next really important feature that ChatGPT has that Notion AI doesn't, is that you can change the model that you're using with ChatGPT. So for this case, doing deep research and asking a bit more of a complicated question to evaluate some things, I'm going to actually change the model 4.0 to something that can use reasoning. Those are things like O1 or O3. Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and use O1 Pro mode because I have Pro right now, might as well. And let's see what it says here. Are you arguing that education system stifles intelligence, creativity? And let's just go ahead and quickly clarify these talking points for it. 
let us see what happens here. Great, and so now ChatGPT is just gonna go out and do some deep research for me, having reference to my Notion document, and it's gonna let me know when it has this research ready. It's gonna take probably a few minutes to do so, and so while it is going out there and demonstrating how cool this workflow is, I'll actually wanna show you now the other hack way that you can use AI features within Notion without paying for Notion AI, and that is if you use Notion in its browser version, and you're gonna wanna find or use a browser that also has native AI features. I believe that Google Chrome does have some AI features, but personally, my favorite browser right now is called Arc by the browser company. So here I am in Arc, and actually I'm just gonna go over to Notion and we're gonna open up this exact same page in Arc. So Arc has this really cool feature where I can use command find to chat with AI about anything that is on the page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click command F so you can see at the top right, this little chat box appears. It says find or ask, and let's just give it the same query that we gave ChatGPT. Um, what are the titles I'm considering for this YouTube video. And it should quickly be able to go through the document and tell me, yep, those are the five titles that I'm considering right there. And let me ask it a more detailed question because just like ChatGPT, what's really cool is this is a running chat. I can just keep asking it follow-up questions um, about everything in this document. How would you rephrase the hook of this script to make it punchier? Let's see what it says here. Here's the hook. It found the hook by scanning through here and it suggested the hook can be punchier by adding a controversial or surprising statement to pique the curiosity for me. Please redraft it for me with those suggestions. Let's see if it can do that for me. And yeah, it was able to generate another hook variation for me to consider uh, instead of the one that I currently have. So obviously the limitations of using Arc's AI features versus ChatGPT is you can't save these conversations. So whenever I click the X at the top here, everything that we just talked about will be gone. So definitely copy over anything that you're using here into your document if you're using this strategy. But the benefit of Arc's feature is that this command find can be used on any browser page on the internet. But similar to Notion AI, this little box here, this chat box, does not have access to the broader internet. And so again, that is why for me personally, using ChatGPT's pro search features is much more valuable when I'm ideating at least uh, and creating content. And so on that note, let's go back to ChatGPT now and see if our deep research has finished. And yep, it looks like it was finished. I don't know what this error loading tap three try is because it definitely outputted everything. Um, and it gave me this really long research document with a whole bunch of different sources that went through on the internet way against the script that I initially put inside of Notion. And so this is a fantastic way for me now that I have a whole bunch of new insights from the internet to improve my script. Let's go ahead and change the model now. I'm gonna go back to GPT 4.0 because I don't need to do any more deep research here. With all these insights, recommend how I could improve my script in Notion to make it more well-researched, evidence-based for my target audience. And let's see my video with all of the deep research and the search features that it used. And if I feel like I wanna use any of these, I can go ahead and just copy them back over to Notion and it will automatically again, update with that new knowledge whenever I wanna to return to this in the future. So as you can see, this workflow is incredibly powerful. Highly recommend for anyone who already uses ChatGPT and uses Notion as a way to communicate with one another and get kind of the best of both, right? You get all of the advanced complex AI features of ChatGPT, but you get the very organized project management note-taking system within Notion that ChatGPT kind of lacks. And so it's kind of nice that they can talk to each other that way. If you enjoyed this workflow, this is just one of the many things that we go deep into in our program 3D Creator. I will leave a link below in the description if you're interested. We help entrepreneurs, creators build AI content engines using systems like this so they can just really buy back their time and build successful brands on YouTube.